I think it's a wonderful time to buy Bitcoin. You can actually buy a fraction of a Bitcoin, so you don't have to go in and buy ten, uh, you know, ten thousand plus dollars on a whole coin. Um, but you can actually just buy a hundred dollars, fifty dollars worth of a Bitcoin. It'd be a great stocking stuffer. So, do you try, Eric, to to figure out what it should be worth? Do you have any sense that holy cow, this thing's up so much, I'm just going to cash it in and sit on my gains here? Or do you think, as we've heard some people say, it could go to $100,000 or a million? I mean, I think cryptocurrency and thus Bitcoin is really the future of, of the financial system and the future of currency. So uh, I try to avoid taking as much out uh, as I can. Um, I, I really don't want to do that. I, whenever I uh, sell a little bit of Bitcoin um, or pay for something in Bitcoin, I multiply that price by 10 because that's where I think that Bitcoin's going. And I think it's going to be huge, and I think it's going to be incredible. So I try not to take out um, any, any. I try to really avoid that. So you made this bet with your parents that if you were 18 and a millionaire, they, they wouldn't force you to go to college, right? Which turned out pretty well. <laughs> yeah, uh, so, as it sounds, yeah. But, it but what happens if, if this thing now craters, goes to zero, what the case may be? What is your fallback plan now? I mean, I'm heavily diversified in other cryptocurrencies. I'm diversified outside of cryptocurrencies, but I really do have a lot betting on Bitcoin because I, I really do firmly Bitcoin. Like Bitcoin to me, it's not just an investment. Um, it's not just a maybe a get rich quick scheme, as a lot of people put it. But I see it as the future of currency. I see it as the future of the financial system. So I think it's it's that that's where it is. And I think it, the icing on the cake is that it's a great investment. So I think that's what it's really backed by, and that's what I have a lot of faith and belief in. Eric, it's uh, Evan and. Uh I guess congratulations for making a lot of money from for for seeing something Thank or you. investing uh, quite early in the cycle. What if tomorrow every government in the world viewed cryptocurrencies as a threat to actually their own currency and just outlawed them? What asset? If, if I mean, you that's were, if, if they if they said to you, Eric, that's fine, but next time we catch you trading your Bitcoin, we're going to put you in jail. Not not that I think that is exactly the way it would happen. What value would the cryptocurrency then have in your mind? So, yeah, I mean, this has happened before um, with uh, uh, there was like Liberty Dollars or Liberty Coins in 2006 and a guy created his own currency and he was prosecuted uh, for that. But that's why Bitcoin was so amazing and Bitcoin is so incredible when it came out and why I saw it as more than just another currency because people have tried to create their own currencies and they end up getting banned before is the technology that Bitcoin is built off of. It ex the blockchain technology that Bitcoin is built off of means that it's controlled by no one. You can't shut down anyone and uh, it can exist even if every government in the world banned it. So obviously I think the price would go down if every government in the world banned it, which is unrealistic, but I understand just for uh, just for the situation and it is a possibility for sure. But I mean, the beauty of the technology is that it can, it can exist purely if every government in the world banned it and even thrive. As you see in China, they banned a lot of stuff like that, a lot of uh, banned the Bitcoin exchanges and all that. And Bitcoin is still actually being used in China. And that's what's so beautiful about Bitcoin and the technology itself. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.